Hello curious. We humans are able to survive in our world in this vast universe. We are seeing many miracles and creating many more miracles. But if we ask ourselves how all this is possible, then we think because biologically we have life. Actually this is correct, but mathematically our universe is a three-dimensional world. Therefore, we humans have the ability to access this three-dimensional world. So, as humans, we are able to live in this world as three-dimensional living beings. Yes, this world we live in is a 3D world with access to only three dimensions. If you know some things about the 1D world and the 2D world, similarly the three-dimensional world that we live in, we can better understand that how the four-dimensional world is like, which is a higher dimension than us. Because as difficult as it is for a born blind person to explain about colors, it is equally difficult for us as a three-dimensional beings to see and imagine the fourth dimensional world. So what are these 1D, 2D, 3D and 4 dimensional worlds? And what actually dimensions are? What is the relation between our universe and the dimensions? And how should we understand these dimensions? So, let's learn this kind of interesting things in this video. Dimensions Mathematically dimensions means measurements. But now, it is better to visualize the word dimensions with examples rather than definitions and meanings. So, let's start with one dimension world. For instance, let's imagine there is a one dimensional world. If there is a life in this 1D world, this species has an access to only one dimension or one direction. That means this species can only travel forward and backward in this 1D world. Because in this 1D world, it does not have access to the other two dimensions left and right, up and down. Moreover, Life in this 1D world does not even understand what the actual directions left and right up and down are. Not only the direction, the way they look, the environment they live also different in 1D world. Here best examples for one dimension is lines and circles. For instance, whatever is shown to the living beings in the 1D world, in this way they can see only lines and circles and this way they can understand any object. Similarly, as far as the 2D world is concerned, the 2D world is a little higher dimension than the 1D world. So there is an access to another extra dimension in this 2D world. This means that these two dimensional living objects have the ability to move left and right in addition to going forward and backward. And not only that, there is no access to another dimension called up and down in this 2D world. And the studio world also doesn't even understand what the actual up and down directions are. Here best example for two dimension is flat plane. As same as one world, whatever you shown to these two dimensional living beings, in this way they can see only plane surfaces. For instance, they can see this two dimensional octagonal shape but they don't understand this 3D cube. Now let's move to the 3D world. In our three dimensional world we can move forward and backward, left and right, up and down. Because of as a three dimensional living beings, we have the ability to access these three dimensions and that's why our universe is three dimensional universe and we are all 3D living beings. Here what we have to notice one thing is if that lower dimension living beings are existed, they are not as developed as we are. And not only that, these dimension beings also differ at looks and life. So I hope you will get a clarity about 1D, 2D, 3D walls. Now let's see about 4D world which is a higher dimension than us. As mentioned earlier, as each dimension increases, they gain access to move in an extra direction. If our 3D world has access to 3 directions, the 4 dimensional world has access to these directions in addition to another direction. But no matter how much we think what is this fourth direction here, we can't imagine because our brain has not imagined and understood that extra dimension. So now let's try to understand with this Mobius strip that extra dimension that we can't imagine. For instance, suppose an ant travels on this paper strip, 
in order for this ant to travel from one side of the paper strip to the other side it must definitely cross the edge of this paper strip here it is impossible for this ant to travel both sides without crossing the edge of this paper strip in our 3d world but it is possible in four dimensional world now if this same paper strip is twisted in half and pasted it looks like this this is called mobius strip technically this mobius strip has two sides but now it is single sided that means technically the sand can travel to both sides of the paper strip without crossing any edge here how does this ant travel to both sides of a two sided mobius strip without crossing any edges and has a such an access to the four dimensional world as well here this mobius strip is only to understand the texture dimension that we can't imagine now another four dimensional object is clean bottle let's see how it is also useful to understanding the extra dimension of four dimensional living beings for instance suppose an ant moves on the sphere it is impossible for this ant to traveling like this to go from outside to inside without crossing any edge in our 3d world but this is possible in four dimensional world like this in fact if truly this kind of clean bottle existed in 4d world it would not be attached like this and that original clean bottle would existed without even a single interaction and we can't even imagine that four dimensional clean bottles it is in another interesting thing is that time is common to each other dimension as temporal dimension including this 1d 2d and 3d world that we have talked about so far we are just following time and we can't control this time which is we stated as temporal dimension but time is completely accessible to four dimensional living beings because even if we don't have the ability to access the temporal dimension called time the 4d world has that ability let's see how it is possible now generally grandfather paradox is a good example to say that time travel is not possible for the sake of information let's know this paradox briefly If in 2021 you started travel in time through a time machine and you went to the time when your grandfather was a child and you killed your grandfather in 1940 and in 1970 your mother will not be born because your grandfather is dead and you will also not be born in 2000 because of your mother was not born but how did you traveled in time and still you alive when you weren't born in this time flow actually this question has no answer because it is a paradox through this paradox it is clearly known that time travel is not possible in our three dimensional world but if we look at the same paradox in the perspective of 4d world an interesting thing will be known to see this paradox in the four dimensional world let's think of this mobius strip as a time flow in this time flow in 2021 he started travel in time and you killed your grandfather in 1940 here your grandfather was dead so your mother was not born in 1970 similarly your mother was not born so you were not born in 2000 and did not travel in time in 2021 if we continue this time flow in 2021 you didn't travel in time so your grandfather will be alive in 1940 your grandfather is alive so your mother will be born in 1970 similarly your mother will be born so you will be born in 2000 and you will be in 2021 to destroy everything again but now if we continue this whole time flow again it will look like a time loop but if we look carefully there are two possibilities for every incident here actually these are probabilities for us but in the four dimensional world these are not probabilities they actually happen but we do not understand how that is possible now when it comes to the vision of four dimensional world they can see what's in a room without even going into it and they can see what is behind the wall without going to near the wall it may seem surprising to us but all this is possible for life in the four dimensional world if only the four dimensional world gets this much of access how many more powers will the 5d 6d 7d 8d 9d and 10 dimensional worlds have so This 4D world is more incredible and interesting than we think. These are enough for now. And thank you so much for watching this video and do subscribe, stay connected with us.